history has shown that it is really difficult to upgrade the kernel of a smartphone after it has been released. For most companies, it's just not worth the hassle. Since Android first came on the scene, it has been incredibly rare to see a previously released phone get a newer kernel with an update. If you're not familiar with what a kernel actually does, then I can give you a simplified explanation. The kernel basically acts as a traffic controller for the communications that happen between your hardware, including the modem, touchscreen, camera, Wi-Fi, and the operating system. It handles critical tasks related to an operating system, including memory allocation, file system operations, and more. It offers a number of security protections from both local and remote attacks, and it's basically the Linux kernel, but with some slight modifications to make the operating system run better on a smartphone, like improved power management settings. A new Linux kernel can be released for a variety of reasons, but they almost always include performance improvements from optimized code, a hardened security system with patches for popular exploits, and a bunch of new features as well. For Android devices though, that optimized code can translate into a boost in performance as well as improved battery life. And we all want our phones to be more secure, so it's usually ideal to have the latest kernel installed. I'll link to this wiki page down below so you can get an idea as to what improvements have been made compared to the previous kernel that our Pixel phones had.